Lemon and steak, it just sounds like the perfect marriage. The acidity is supposed to cut out the fattiness, but most importantly, it should turn out fantastic. But today we're not only going to be using a regular lemon, I'll be using one that is extremely special, which might look ugly, but the taste will surprise you. Because this is the preserved lemon steak experiment, so let's do it. And here we have the star of today's show, Preserved Lemon. Now this one was bought, and if you never tried one, it's something very difficult to explain. It doesn't taste like regular lemon. Let me slice one open so you can see what it looks like inside. Not very appetizing. That's because of the process you went through. You see, preserved lemon is like fermentation. It goes through a process to keep it preserved. That way you can enjoy it for a long time. If you wanted to make preserved lemons, it's super simple to do. The first thing you need is fresh lemon. Cut out the end, then immediately split the whole thing in fourth. Now you don't want to cut it all the way through. That's what the experts says. But I've done this before and it doesn't really matter if you cut it or not. Not that big of a difference. Because then you want to throw it in a jar. Add a good amount of salt, smash everything up, then add water, close it, and let it ferment at room temperature for 30 days. Because in the end you are left with this. Preserved lemons. The part I like the most is the skin. The flesh, for me at least, is just not good. A lot of people use it though, so it'll be up to you. And this is what I was left with when I was done. The next thing to do is to go ahead and dice everything up. The smaller the dice, the better. Because in the end I was left with perfect little cubes of preserved lemon. Now we're gonna transform this into something incredible for steaks. And the first one, take a look. This is a preserved lemon compound butter. And here's how to do it. Into the food processor I threw in some room temperature butter, followed by garlic paste, freeze dried parsley, and of course the preserved lemon, followed by salt and freshly ground black pepper. Now turn on the food processor and blend everything together, lay out some clinch plastic, throw that compound butter right in, and roll everything into itself. Because now the only thing left is to let it rest in the refrigerator so that it can solidify. Because after about one hour, take a look. Preserved lemon compound butter. And my hopes is that it's gonna be fantastic on some steaks. That is to be determined real shortly. Because I also made this preserved lemon gramolata. And this one is a lot easier to make than the compound butter. And here's how. I first combine a good amount of preserved lemon, followed by freshly minced garlic, fresh parsley, cracked black pepper, a little bit of salt, and finish it off with a good quality olive oil. Mix everything well because that's it. Now this should pair up perfectly with some steaks. Talking about that, these are the ones I chose for today's experiment. As you can see, there are three beautiful ribeye steaks. They are choice grade. As you can see, the marbling is not the best, but it's still good. Now to keep this consistent, I seasoned all of them exactly the same. I added salt followed by freshly ground black pepper and garlic powder. As always, I made sure to season both sides and the edges. But these beautiful steaks and a compound butter and a gramolata sauce is just not enough. So of course I had to make a side dish. And these are addicting and extremely easy to make and here's how. So into a food processor I threw in some parmigiano reggiano, blend everything in high and into everything was completely pulverized. Then I added whatever cheese I had left on the refrigerator, starting with Monterey Jack, followed by cheddar cheese, a good amount of cream cheese, a good amount, a little bit of onion powder, a little bit of granulated garlic, and for some orchard some black beer. Now close the lid and blend everything on high, because in the end this is what you're left with. Now depending on the color of your cheese, this will have its own color, but hey I only used what I had left on my refrigerator. Talking about that, look, this was also in my refrigerator. Sometimes you just want to buy this dough and not make it fresh. And there's nothing wrong with this. Because all you have to do is cut them in halves, roll them up, grab a cast iron skillet, make sure you butter it real good so nothing gets stuck, place all of the dough balls in there, and the cheese dip right in the middle. Then I went ahead and stuck it in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes. As in the end, this is what I was left with. Do not forget this step. Just brush a good amount of butter right on top. For a presentation, just sprinkle a little bit of parsley. Now I'll tell you one thing. This is delicious. And the cheese dip is addicting. Don't believe me? Well, you just wait for us to try it on camera. Because now the only thing left to do is to cook these beautiful steaks. And here's how it's gonna go down. The very first one I'll be using fresh lemon. The other two I'll just be cooking them normal. But in the end I'll be putting that beautiful compound butter on one of them. And the other one I'll be using the gremolata. Because now I say, it is enough talking and it is time to cook some beautiful steaks. So let's do it.
All right, everybody, here we have our beautiful steaks. I must say they look great today. Today's all about lemon, all right? But yeah. it's not any kind of lemon. Let's just say a fancy lemon, very fancy. And I must apologize, you guys cannot see it, but you can see the, something happened there. I thought you were on a diet. I am. <laughs> but uh you, you were but not today. <laughs> hey somebody gotta try it for the sake of the video yeah yeah no huh? of course yeah you could have tried it every, every, i know right? but you ain't try it you had a okay you had a little <laughs> that lets you know if the side dish is good or not everybody i gotta be honest i gotta try it out first you know what i mean i gotta do my thing <laughs> anyway we're gonna begin here first let's go this side here first one cheers everybody cheers mmm I like that. Mm. That's good. Mm. It's so flavorful. Yeah. Do you feel the lemon? It's very subtle. Yeah. But I am getting lemony acidicness. Yeah. And it just combines so well. It's because I grilled the lemon, Leo. When you grill lemon, it becomes sweeter, everybody. I like it. You like it? So this is the baseline, right? Yeah. It takes no time to do. It's not a fancy lemon. We just, uh, I want to see if anything improves from this one or not. Because these are using the special lemon. This is regular lemon. That one was a Google steak with lemon. Correct. Now let's go ahead and try this one right here. Second one. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, cheers. Mm. Oh, I like that one. Oh, you like that one? I like that one a lot. Oh, I like that one too, Liam. Instead of like a regular natural lemon, it gives it kind of like a more candy type of flavor. Candy? You're really? You're, I don't, I don't get that. You're losing me, bro. Yeah, I don't, I don't get I don't that at all. I, don't know. <laughs> I think that this one is a little bit more powerful than the previous one that we just tried, but it's almost like the lemon kind of blended with the steak juices and it like harmonizes very well. I agree 100%. It's just the lemon tastes quite different yeah. okay this is preserved lemons by the way that's what i'm trying to get through like it doesn't taste like natural lemon it's an adult taste everybody that's how i would describe it and that's because it doesn't taste so acidic and strong and powerful but when you mix it with the butter and the garlic it's just phenomenal let's go for the third one ready wait 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 you had half oh, of that that's right. dish already i yeah. need to try it it's, yeah i don't want to try it because it's uh, problematic you know you gain 100 pounds when you try that one Leo. Yeah, so it's a dip you just go like oh it's that. a dip yes correct go for it angel side dish cheers everybody cheers, cheers. oh man god bro wow. this is so good even after it cools down, wow. it's still amazing, everybody. I can understand why you ate half of it, Google. This is amazing. It's a little bit dangerous because it's not overpowering. You know, it has a little bit of beer, by the way, the dip. You really? Know, that's why you feel that little adult taste. Today is an adult steak experiment. <laughs> this tastes very mature and so does the steak. Let's try the last one, yeah? Let's see. We're going to let you guys know which one is better, everybody, so you can try it at home. Third one. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Oh. That's different. More powerful. Yeah, way more powerful. It has more of a sour. <laughs> yes, a little bit of sourness. It's more it's, of a uh, sourness. That's kind of probably why I was thinking candy earlier. For me, I, I don't like lemon. And so this is actually a very nice, uh, a welcome difference. It's more powerful than the second one where you taste that more of that lemony, but it's a different type of lemon. It's not as acidic. It's not at like a normal conventional lemon. And it blends really well with the steak juices. 100% agree. This one is a lot more powerful. And Definitely. at the same time, the butteriness the creaminess yeah. on the second one, for me at least, is just a better overall steak. Which one do you like better, Andrew? I want to know. The first one. The first one. Leo, which one do you like better? The third one. The third one. Oh my God, this has never happened in Google Foods video, everybody. We all disagree with each other. <laughs> Andrew likes this one. I like this one as best. And Leo likes this one here. So now it's your decision to pick whichever one you like. The lemon tastes a lot different than you might expect. It's worth giving it a try so that you can experience different kind of flavors. You know what's crazy? Yeah. The lemon lover likes the least amount of lemon. The lemon hater <laughs> likes the one with the most amount of lemon. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything's always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.